Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're building a lo-fi radio with the Raspberry Pi and Adafruit's BrainCraft hat. We designed and 3D printed this case to house electronics and features a built-in speaker and display. The Pi is set up in kiosk mode and automatically plays any YouTube music stream. This uses digital I2S, so it's got high quality stereo output. The BrainCraft hat has everything you need to make an all-in-one YouTube player. The case has access to all the ports, so you can get to the headphone jack if you want to hook this up to a bigger sound system. The built-in joystick can be used to change the stations and adjust the volume. This lets you quickly switch between different YouTube channels without having to use a keyboard or mouse. You can also play and pause the video by pressing the button next to the joystick. To keep the pie nice and cool, we added holes to the side of the case for better airflow. This small yet beefy speaker has some decent volume and pretty good bass response. The 3D printed cover fits over the speaker to help increase the acoustics. We've included mounting holes on the bottom for attaching a tripod screw adapter. This lets you secure it to a tripod or any tripod compatible mount. We think this is great for folks who want to set up their projects in different orientations. The Adafruit BrainCraft hat has tons of built-in goodies, so it's great if you want to make a no-solder project. It comes with an external fan, which helps prevent the Pi from overheating, which is necessary for those intense computational projects. Installation is super easy. You can just press fit the hat right on top of your Raspberry Pi. You can 3D print the case in PLA filament and have fun picking your own colors. The speaker cover is made from a few pieces that are snap fitted together. The Pi is fitted into the case and can be secured with or without screws. There's a JST port built right into the hat so it's easy to plug in a speaker. The front cover is fitted over the hat with the speaker cable fitted through a slit. Install the speaker by press fitting it through the ring in front of the case. The cover can then be placed over the speaker and it's held in place. To get the software ready, you'll need to burn an SD card with at least 16 gigs of storage. We used our portable display to output the desktop from the Raspberry Pi. You can use the software updater to easily update the OS and libraries. You'll want to enable SSH and follow the guide to install the Blinka libraries. Follow the steps to get the fan service running along with the audio settings. Next, we can disconnect the HDMI monitor and install the display module. This script allows you to rotate the display so you can change the orientation of the screen. Lastly, we can install the kiosk script so we can play YouTube videos in full screen. The script checks the orientation of the display and adjusts the joystick to match the screen. Once you've added your favorite streams to the playlist, you can enable the system to read only. This allows you to unplug the Pi without having to worry about the SD card being corrupted. And that's it, a simple way to build a YouTube streaming radio device. We hope this inspires you to check out Adafruit's BrainCraft hat for the Raspberry Pi. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.